Captured by American troops in May 1775, Fort Ticonderoga and Crown Point became symbols of early American resilience and strategic importance during the Revolutionary War. From 1776 to 1777, significant efforts were made to bolster the defences of Ticonderoga, notably fortifying Mount Independence, enhancing northern defences with additional forts, and constructing a vital floating bridge to facilitate movement across the lake. Leadership of these defences saw turmoil in 1777, with Generals Philip Schuyler, Horatio Gates, and eventually Arthur St. Clair at the helm, amidst contrasting orders from the Continental Congress. St. Clair, taking command shortly before British General Burgoyne's arrival, faced a dire situation with less than 2,500 effective soldiers from fragmented Continental and militia regiments. A strategic decision to plan a retreat disclosed the vulnerabilities and challenges of maintaining such a pivotal stronghold.